three, two, one. Are you a middle school math teacher struggling with teaching how to get your students to graph lines in slope intercept form or just linear equations? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the easiest, I swear, the easiest way to get your students to graph lines in slope intercept form. If you're new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom, all while saving time and money with their lesson planning and resources. So what's the secret? Keep watching and I'm going to share with you ex the exact way that I teach how my students graph lines in y equals mx plus b form. Let's go. Okay, so what is the strategy? This is a template that is available inside the pre-algebra teacher's math membership for slope intercept form. So you can see here it says y equals mx plus b. m equals the word move. m equals move is how many times we move. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, m does equal move. But m equals your slope, and it stands for move, how many times we move, okay? B is going to be our y-intercept, and this is going to stand for where we begin, B for begin. Okay, so what does that mean? So in this example right here, I ask you to graph the line y equals one third x plus three. So we're gonna look at the three and this is gonna tell us where to begin on the y axis, okay? So we're gonna begin at zero three on the y axis. So there's gonna be my first dot right here. And then this is gonna tell us how many times to move. The numerator always tells us how many times to move up or down depending on if it's positive or negative. And in this case, we're gonna move up because it is a positive one. And then three is gonna tell us how many times we're gonna to move to the right. We can move to the left if we run out of space on our graph, but typically I always tell students just to move to the right. So this is gonna tell us to move up one to the right three, up one to the right three, and then we're gonna connect our lines, okay? So I'm gonna make this just a little bit, um, I'm gonna, increase this just a little bit so we can see. So here we have graphed the line y equals 2x minus 1. This tells me that I'm going to begin at 0, negative 1. So let's put our first dot there, 0, negative 1. Then this tells me since there's no denominator, we know that it is an imaginary 1. This tells me I'm going to move up 2 to the right 1. Okay, so let's move up 2 to the right 1 up two to the right one, and then we're gonna connect our line, just like that. Okay, let's do a couple more examples. These examples come directly from the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math membership. These, this is a, our extended practice form. So, you know, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and we're just going to do this one in the center. So you can see here that this says graph the line y equals 1 x minus 1. Because there's no number here, we know that there's an imaginary 1 over 1, right? So this tells me to begin at 0, negative 1. So here is 0, negative 1 here. And this tells me I'm going to move up 1 right one. So I'm going to go up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. And then I'm going to change the color and then we're going to connect our line. Just like that. And there you have it. Isn't that the easiest, most simple strategy on how to teach y equals mx plus b? Let me know in the comments when you're going to be using this and how it goes because i'm so excited for you to implement this strategy like today if you want more resources lesson plans everything that you need to teach your sixth seventh eighth grade in algebra one math class come join me inside the pre-algebra teachers membership where life 
can be just like this. You'll save a ton of time. You will spend maybe 30 minutes a week lesson planning because everything is done for you. Until next time, bye for now.